Hey guys, so today we're going to be making the circumcenter for a right triangle. This is going to be a fun one. So, let's go on with this. So, first we have to find the midpoints for each side of the triangle, each line that makes up the triangle. So, we have a handy dandy tool right here, midpoint or center tool, helps us find that. And so then the midpoint for AC is D, which is right here. Midpoint for CB would be right there, point E. And the midpoint for BA is right about there, point F. So now we have to make perpendicular bisectors that intersect D, create a right triangle. That's what a perpendicular bisector does. So you do that for every midpoint. But first, first, since a D is the midpoint for AC, this also makes it that AD and CD, the lines that make up AC, with D being the midpoint, are congruent. So let's do that. This also applies to every other midpoint, since the midpoint is in the middle of the line. It makes us a the lines that make up the original line. So, once again, AC, the original line, AD and CD make up that line, so both lines are congruent. So I have to make that for the other ones, too. And there we go. So now, since we have that out of the way, we're going to be making the perpendicular bisectors for each line. So we make right there, there, so F, G, and H. You see right there, G, F, and H. Now, first, let's get this out of the way. Since it's a perpendicular bisector, for, so since F, is the perpendicular bisector to AC, this means that it creates a right triangle. So it means right here creates a right triangle, and right here creates a right triangle. It's supposed to every single one of them, so right there too. So next we're going to find the circumcenter, which is actually found already for us, right here. It lies... It, Fun fact that the circumcenter, if it's a right triangle that you're trying to find it for, will always lie on the hypotenuse. See? It's right there in the hypotenuse. And that's point D, which was our midpoint for AC. This is usually what would happen, but... So we have our circumcenter for this right triangle right there. So that's about it. So, hope this was helpful for you guys. See you in the next.